Hello, folks. In this video, we're going to cover something called complementary events and how to handle them with probabilities. Let's define a complementary event or complementary events. Complementary events are mutually exclusive events that together cover all the possibilities. So, for example, tomorrow it rains or it doesn't rain are two complementary events because they're mutually exclusive and together they cover all the possibilities. It either rains or it doesn't rain. There's no other possibility. So, rains doesn't rain. And let's call this event A, and we could call this event B, but if event B is complementary to A, we could also call it A C like that. So, this is saying complementary to A. Now, let's say the probability that it rains is 0.2. Doesn't that mean the probability that it doesn't rain is 0.8? Because, again, those are all the possibilities. So together they have to add up to 1. So this leads us to say that the probability of A is equal to 1 minus the probability of the complement of A. Right? In this case, 0.2 equals 1 minus 0.8. Now, we could also say that the probability of the complement of A is 1 minus the probability of A. That also works. Let's talk about complementary events in another context. Say we have a bag of marbles with blue, red, and green marbles in there, certain amounts of each. And we want to know the probability of not getting a blue marble, so not blue. Well, that's equal to the probability of getting a red or green. So we could do it that way, or we could use this complementary principle and say that the probability of not blue is 1 minus the probability of blue. And that's because not blue and blue are complementary events. So they must follow that rule. So that's something that you may have to use in figuring certain probability questions out. Okay, see you in the next video.